The way we pay for things is changing. We no longer need to carry cash or cards to buy something at a store. That's because we're seeing an increase with mobile payments. Effectively, smartphones are redefining how we pay for things. Hey guys, John Velasco here with the Android Authority, and I'm here to talk about the different mobile payment solutions out there. So that's Android Pay, Apple Pay, and Samsung Pay. At the moment, there are three notable mobile payment systems dominating the scene. You could argue which of the three has the largest adoption rate, but it's clear that mobile payments are the future. Over on the Android side, two options are available, Android Pay and Samsung Pay, and on the other, we have Apple Pay. So let's start off with Google's mobile payment option. That's Android Pay. The premise is simple, and it's similar as well with the other solutions. You download the app if it isn't pre-installed already, then you use the camera to capture the information off your credit card. And that's ready to be used at payment terminals that have NFC. You just place the device near the terminal and that's it. You'll get a notification about the transaction afterwards for your own record. Now, the great thing about it is that it has the largest support of devices, pretty much anything running Android 4.4 KitKat with NFC. The downside though, is that it has the fewest supported banks, so you might not find yours. Just like Android Pay, Apple Pay leverages the NFC contact method to exchange information with POS systems. You use the iOS wallet app to initially capture your card's information. Once it's stored on the iPhone, all you need to do is place it near the terminal. From there, the transaction is authenticated by using the Touch ID sensor on the phone. It's available to the latest iOS devices with integrated Touch ID. So that pales in comparison to Android Pay's listing of supported devices. At the same time though, Apple deserves credit because Apple Pay has far more banking partners under its belt. And oh yeah, it's available in more countries than Android or Samsung Pay. Speaking of Samsung Pay, it works on NFC terminals as well. Its one advantage is that it alternatively offers magnetic secure transmission. MST for short. Essentially, a magnetic coil embedded inside the Galaxy device generates a dynamic magnetic field. And that magnetic field effectively allows it to work with traditional core terminals. While it has an extensive list of supported banks and retailers, it can't be used for purchases in apps. On top of that, the supported devices are limited to recent Galaxy smartphones. Still, I can't stress enough about its MST method, which makes it more likely to work in places we go every day. Even though we're seeing this increase in adoption, the biggest question we have to ask ourselves is whether they can be our sole source for payments. And that's the thing, they can't. Samsung and Apple Pay are no doubt leading the way at this moment, but they still don't have the same success rate we get from our traditional cards. For example, restaurants and gas stations in particular seem to be places where mobile payments don't have any presence in. Terminals that require you to insert your card, like an ATM, don't work with mobile payments at all. To sum it up, Apple Pay has the largest banking partners in the US, about 1,200 versus 133 with Samsung Pay and 41 with Android Pay. Apple Pay also has broader availability, six countries to be exact, whereas Android Pay is only available in the US, while Samsung Pay is established in the US and South Korea right now. Apple and Android Pay can be used in apps for payments, but Samsung Pay has the largest collection of retail partners, and with MST, it definitely will work at more payment terminals. There's still a lot of work needed in this space, but you can certainly expect broader adoption as these services continue to expand. The question is, which one are you going to choose? So if you want to learn more about any of the services I talked about in this video, you can check out our website, androidauthority.com, your source for all things Android.